Hi guys. So for this one, we're gonna talk about, do I have a job? Am I working? And the short answer is yes, I do have a job. And I have not been there for a few months, actually. Um, so let's get into it. Um, so back when I first started having seizures, August, 2019, um, I was working full time in a management position at a, honestly, legally, I don't know if I can say the name of the company where I work, where I have a job. Um, I'll tell you, it's a discount clothing store and they have been supportive and wonderful to me to the max. And um, <laughs> they've been great. So when I first started having seizures then, they were just tonic clonics in my sleep. And like I've said before, I'm fine the next day. I can just get up, go to work, maybe a little tired, but it wasn't a big deal. So I was able to not really have it affect my work, my job. I pretty much only told my manager, my store manager, my management team. And, you know, they said, you know, whatever you need, let us know. That's fine. Um, and I didn't really need days off except for maybe doctor's appointments, uh, MRIs, EEGs, but usually I could just switch days off or um, I had tons of vacation, sick days, personal days saved up. Uh, next year, I'll have been with the company, not just this location, but the whole company for about 10 years. So again, it wasn't a problem until, until uh, a year later, this past August of 2020, when I started having the uh, temporal focal light aura seizures. Uh, during the day and I think gosh it was August 11th I think I came in to help and I ended up having my first ever tonic clonic in public uh, luckily again before the store opened but it was in the store with my store manager and one of my co-workers uh, I knew it was coming I could tell I called Danny on the phone I'm like this is happening I'm here at the store so I was kind of behind the cash registers. There were some rubber mats. So, uh, you know, my store manager kept people away. It's like, just keep going, keep going. I warned them, um, I'm gonna lay down. It's gonna be fine. Don't call an ambulance. Danny's on his way. I'm gonna start convulsing. I'm gonna make some crazy noises. It's fine, just <laughs> leave me be, I'll be okay. So they were calm. I you know heard later they were a little freaked out, but they knew it was gonna be okay. Um, and so Danny got there and uh, I was like, oh, so did you take me out immediately? He's like, no, we had to wait around about 20 minutes for, you know, you to be able to leave the store, your postictal phase. I was like, oh boy, <laughs> that was fun to see. <sighs> but he said, you know, everyone was fine. We were all calm, collected. I got to leave before the store opened. And I think I became aware in the truck on the way home. <laughs> and I just looked at him was like, Oh, that happened, didn't it? He's like, yes, it's fine. I was like, oh, but hey, at least, <laughs> not that anybody doubted me, but <laughs> there was no doubt then. Oh, wow, she really does have epilepsy and seizures. That happened. So anyway, um, I think in a later video on my Throwback Thursdays, when I get to that point, I'll say that I had a light or a seizure later on that same day at home and that's when I started saying, you know, these are happening way too close together. This is getting worse. I'm on a new medication now. It's not helping. I think I need to look at short-term disability until I can get this figured out. Because luckily, since I had been with the company for 10 years, I had been paying into short-term and long-term disability every week on my paycheck for that whole 10 years. It was only like $2 a week each for the whole thing. And I was like, it's only $2. That's worth it. Cause who knows what could happen at any time. So <laughs> luckily I'd been paying into that. So I was eligible. And I think that later that week I got put on short term, my epileptologist and in all the paperwork. Um, and it was easy, not a problem. And I have been on short term disability ever since then. So since August of 2020 until now, um, the company approves you um, for six months of short-term disability. You get, what is it, 60% of your pay and up to six months. 
and you get to keep all your insurance. Now, you know, I hit my six month mark, I think in February, and it's been extended once. And now they're in the process of trying to get it extended more. Also in the process of getting me set up for long-term disability, just in case that short-term doesn't get uh, extended. Only issue is when I go to long-term disability, it's sent to a third party, not through my company anymore. So in that case, I would be terminated in good standing. So, you know, it wouldn't be an issue if I ever wanted to come back. I'd just go through the hiring process, but it would be good standing, whatever. But I would also lose my insurance. Now I have fantastic uh, But if I did lose my insurance, my husband has insurance through his work, so we could all just transfer to that. So that wouldn't be an issue, but his isn't, isn't as good. <laughs> So what can you do? So some of y'all have been asking, am I working? Do I have a job? What, how are you affording this? All that kind of stuff. So that's what's going on now. So like, comment, subscribe. Uh, let me know down below um, what you guys think and hope to see you next week. Thanks. Bye.